I am from Team Vortex and this is the demo for a project Cyclonet which we have created under the Open Innovation category for Disaster Management. Its primary function is Cyclone Intensity Estimation using infrared images from the Indian National Satellite. The inspiration for the same came from when we noticed that the current hurricane and weather forecast model has some disadvantages. These are that it requires accurate center determination of a cyclone during initial stages of its formation, which is very difficult to do, and it only runs four times a day, even though the Indian National Satellite observations are available at every 15 minutes. This leads to a tremendous amount of valuable data being lost, which otherwise could have been useful to understand the instantaneous structural changes during the intensification of a tropical cyclone. As deep learning can identify more complex features in various images, we decided to develop a web app to counter these disadvantages. The web app user interface allows the users to upload InSat IR images, which is processed through our deep learning pipeline, which we have implemented in PyTorch. This consists of a convolutional neural network to compute the intensity of the cyclone. Our model has been trained on a custom dataset, which consists of all the inside cyclone IR images from the year 2012 to 2021. The cyclones were formed in the Indian Ocean. We have managed to achieve a 9.5 knots of root mean square error on our training dataset, and our model is generalized. Coming to the tech stack, we have used HTML, CSS, Bootstrap, and JavaScript for the front-end development. For the back-end development, we use Flask, PostgreSQL, and Python. And for the machine learning pipeline, we have used PyTorch. Coming to the web app, even though meant for scientific users, is extremely user-friendly and consists of three components majorly. A form to upload cyclone imagery along with the event metadata, an archive table, and a live wind map. The user interface allows the user to upload an NSAT cyclone imagery and event data metadata, including latitude and longitude of the cyclone. The intensity of the cyclone images is then computed by the model and the computed intensity, and along with the uploaded image and the metadata, is pushed into the archive via the database, which we have implemented in PostgreSQL. Now, to show the generalization of our model, we have extracted two images from our training dataset before training our model to show the working of our uh, web app. This consists of an image of a cyclone, which is of a 43 knots of intensity and of a 94 knots intensity. Here, we have made the background dynamic, trying to show how intense the cyclone is using the rain. The result is displayed in a notification toast as well as form. Now I would like to show you the live weather map displaying wind patterns using the Windy API. The user can search up any coordinate on the map and in case of a cyclonic event, the map highlights the cyclone, indicating a strong wind pattern at that particular location. The archive button redirects us to the archive table from where the saved data can be accessed. Going to the archive table, here we can view all the previously submitted data and by clicking on any one of the image links, we can show, see the submitted image. This was a brief overview of how our project works. Thank you 